Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm in a very happy mood. I just got to meet a friend of ours, uh, Amara. She got to, she came to school and we did our uh, brigance. Oh, my goodness. It was so nice to see somebody in real life. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't come yet, make sure you talk to mom, dad, auntie, uncle, grandma, and grandpa. Come on in. I still have uh, learning kits and all that stuff. And I'd love to see you in person for real, for real, for real. But uh, that's not why you're here. You're here to know uh, what we did today. So let's uh, start by singing. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to my friend. And how do you do? Ah, I hope you're doing as good as I am. I'm very, very happy now. And then in a while I'll go, oh, but now I miss all my friends and then I'll feel sad again. But we won't worry about that yet. So let's take a look at number one with one dot. We've got school tomorrow, Thursday, and then uh, Friday. So two more wake up days. Uh, number two, we uh, looked at a book. Uh, it's another one of those books that was on the computer. I don't know how to show you that one. But it was about, uh, there's this face here. Uh, we took a guess what that was. Some people said, oh, it looks sad. You know, and it was part of being sad. It's uh, called being disappointed. If you want to know about disappointment, talk to my wife. <laughs> There we go. I know Miss Karen was disappointed in that joke, but uh, no disappointed. That's when you look really, you're like, oh, I can't wait. Oh, like I'm gonna go to a party. It's gonna be so much fun. And then the party gets canceled and then you can't go. Or like, I was so excited to, to have everybody come back to school. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna meet a whole bunch of new friends. This is gonna be great. And then we had to do school on the computer. And then I was disappointed. I know you, Miss Leanna, felt that, that it's disappointing. And but you know what? Life is, has a lot of disappointments. But you know what? We read in the book that it's very important to focus on the positive. So think about you know what? Yeah, we got to do school on the computer, but very soon we're going to come back to school and we'll get to see each other very soon. So that's good, you know, and like if a party gets canceled, they'll reschedule it. You get to do it again some other time. And then there's fun stuff to do while you're waiting to. So it's okay to be disappointed and feel sad. But uh, you know what? Think about some of the happy things, some of the other things that you can do, and then uh, you'll hopefully feel a little bit better. So that's what we did for number two. Number three, we had another book about, who. oh, oh, it was a, a bat. We read a, a book earlier about the lady who swallowed some leaves. Today we read about the, uh, there was an old lady who swallowed a bat. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do you think? Should we read this one? I think, I think we should. So uh, this one is, uh, again, by uh, Lucille Calandro. So that's the, the person that wrote the words. And then illustrated, that means they did the pictures, illustrated by Jared Lee. So there we go. So there was an old lady who swallowed a bat. A bat. So not like a baseball bat, like the animal, the bat. That'd be weird if you swallowed a baseball bat, too. Let's see. Uh, there was an old lady who swallowed a bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. Let's see. Oh, I got to work on turning pages. My fingers aren't working. There we go. Uh, there was an old lady who swallowed an owl. Oh, my. Or, uh, my, oh, my. She started to howl. And we all uh, practice that. So uh, uh, you go, oh. So you get a good howl going there. Oh my goodness. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. Whoa! Whoa, hello! Miss April's got something going on over there. There we go. We have fun down here, I, I you know. Uh, there was an old lady who swallowed a cat. What do you think? What? Now she's so fat. Oh, she's swallowing all these things. And uh, I think it was our pond, and she was like, you shouldn't swallow animals. Like, you should swallow food and stuff. Yeah, ooh, don't, don't swallow any of these things at home. Don't, don't try this at home. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. Ooh, this one got a little bit scary. It's starting to get scary in here. <laughs> Ooh, it's a, it's a ghost. I don't know. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Ooh, I don't know. But uh, I think Malik was saying, oh, he got scared by a ghost one time. I don't, ooh, ooh. So if you have any ghostly, scary stories, uh, I don't know. You can tell me as long as they're not too scary. I get scared very easily. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but we'll get back to the book. Uh, there was an old lady who swallowed a ghost. 
What do you think? She liked it the most. I would think a ghost would be easy to swallow. At least sw uh, easier than an owl. Yeah, they did. But uh, she swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. I know. I, I can't. I can't. I can only imagine. Let's see. Uh, there was an old lady who swallowed a goblin. That thing right there. That's the goblin. Sort of like a little monster. It made her so so dizzy. She started to spin. Oh, she's uh, the goblin. She started to spin. There we go. It rhymes. If you read it the right way, it rhymes. Uh, she swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed some bones. And yeah, we were saying when we were eating, uh, ooh, don't swallow bones. Oh my goodness. Uh, you, you could eat meat that might be on a bone, but don't swallow the bones. Uh, there were so many, she started to groan. Do you know how to groan? <laughs> you go like, oh, oh, oh. that's groaning, I know. <laughs> I feel like everybody was groaning today. Uh, Come on, Mr. Ben, let's go. Uh, they were groaning at me. Uh, she swallowed the bones to rattle the goblin. And she swallowed the goblin. Let me see. I'm trying to remember the story without reading it. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. And then this one's really wild. Oh my goodness, take a look at this picture. What do you think that is? We had a guest, they said, oh, is that like a, a witch? And we said, that's a, a wizard, a wizard. So he's got all kinds of magical spells too. Oh, he's got a, a magic wand. There was an old lady who swallowed a wizard to cast a spell so she could yell. Ooh, do you have any predictions? You could take a guess. What do you think she's gonna yell? With all these Halloween things, I don't know. Uh, she's gonna yell, trick or treat! Oh my goodness, oh, and all that stuff came flying out. The wizard and the cat and the bones and the owl, the ghost, the goblin, the bat, everything came flying out. And she yelled, trick or treat! Oh, mama, I, I don't know. Do you think you're gonna go trick or treating? I don't know. Oh, I admit, oh, I, I don't think we read this part. And it says, burp. She burped. I hope she said excuse me afterwards. Uh, yeah, always use your manners. Uh, if you burp, you just say, oh, excuse me. And then you're all covered. But uh, speaking of all covered, I think we covered everything we just did today. We uh, talked about being disappointed. I hope this video didn't disappoint you. And then we read about uh, that old lady swallowing a bat. I don't know, she swallows all kinds of stuff. Imagine that. But uh, so today was a nice, wonderful Wiggly Wednesday. I sure hope you come on back for uh, a Thirsty Thursday. Ooh, speaking of Thursday, I've got the thirst already. Ah, Thirsty Thursday. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.